me see the side future. Rasta lifestyle. Might not bro. make it. Shit. <laughs> you know, I got a little miracle going on, right? Let me see the side future. Hey, shout out to my brothers and sisters living with alopecia, man. Shout out to y'all, dog. I'm trying to figure out why he hiding. I'm not finna come out here and say nobody cute. Cause last time I said somebody cute, it, it was some Decepticon activities going on. So we ain't finna do that. So is either she the neighborhood slide or she the side piece. And he wasn't trying to be caught on camera. Y'all know side chicks always, they always want evidence. They always want to put you on camera. Number one rule, fellas, if you at the side chick house, hide her phone. Take the battery out the phone. Because some of these heifers got some good, you know, and it might put you to sleep. The last thing you want to do is go to sleep at your side chick house. What is more attractive on a guy? Someone who's tall or someone who's muscular? Tall. 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 You're short, so. <laughs> what a dance, okay. So, I don't know, tall and muscular. Tall. Okay, so for reference, I'm 5'7", so what do you consider tall? 6'7". Six, 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 you're six, short. Five. Yeah, I heard you the first time. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. She got one more time with the short slander. She's tall, so she's like oh, I'll, I'll tell her she. I'll tell she. She's like five nine. Five nine. Okay. Okay. And then what's the lowest you would go for? Six foot. So you go for six foot. Six foot. That's the lowest you would go average. for. I'm below average. Okay. So you're five seven. Yeah. So I'm like five five. Wait, you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Where is he? He's home. He's oh. at home. Oh, no, come sure. on. You're too short. You're five foot. Wait, hold on. Where's your boyfriend? Bitch. Bitch, you shaped like a Sharpie. Okay? You look like a baby blue Sharpie. Stop it. This is what happened when y'all be letting your ugly friends... <clears throat> Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not do it. Do not. This is what happened when y'all be letting y'all ugly friends get too comfortable. Okay, you 5'9". Oh, I, I want somebody that's... You look easy to draw. Damn, that came out of nowhere. Friend, why is he home? He's home. He has just a girl's trip. Yeah. A girl's trip? And he has a girl's trip. I heard a lot of... Yes. I heard a lot of red flags about girls' trips. Yes. I heard... I hate the short slander. Now, I'm not gonna act like I would feel 100% comfortable dating a woman that's taller than me. Because at some point in time, I do feel as though it's kind of awkward. And the way society has it, if you're short and you're dating a woman that's taller than you, taller guys are just gonna try y'all. I've seen it a lot. Because it don't look like you can protect her. She's bigger than you. You feel me? Even though, even though us short kings... Some of us, our elevator don't go all the way to the top floor, so we are more than capable of protecting you, ladies. This is the scary go round. Is there a mouse living under my shin? You know what? I ain't gonna say nothing. So you just risked everything for a noise. <laughs> I could imagine what would happen if you didn't make it. What would it be? Oi, bama. <laughs> Respectfully, of course. <laughs> Sensation. White folks. White folks. I don't know how long you've been here, white folks, but I've been saying it damn near every other video. White folks are fearless. First video, we have somebody. This man is getting hit in the shin by multiple scooters. Right after that, the next video in the feed, this man is jumping a cliff. No harness. Nothing. Look like he almost fell. First off, I want to know how he got there. How did he get there? So he had to jump over to jump back. Did they ask for my number because they thought I was cute? Or because they know? They know. 
they know? Did they? They know what? Because they knew what? What's she talking about? Oh, so I'm finna go to her page. What's she talking about, dog? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. Oh. All right. What I'm gonna say is, I usually put people's names at the top so you can go to go to their page. Go to her page. Go to her Instagram page. You, you yeah. <laughs> okay. I know too. Like some of you are so so cheap, so stingy. If you don't have it like that, then date women who don't want anything from you, who don't like nice things. But the issue comes in when you want a woman who has these standards to lower them for you. You want the Instagram baddie to split bills with you. She's not doing it. You want a high maintenance woman to, to go half with you. Like you're always trying to actively change a woman's mind. And you get mad when men jump on the internet and show women that men like we like we actually want do exist. You get mad at them because they're gonna raise every woman's standards and you don't want that. Because settling is how you get picked. Let me show y'all something. I wanna show y'all something. I ain't gonna let me show y'all something. Alright. These are my two cars, okay? These are my two cars. This is my work car. This is my fun car. All right. This is my high maintenance. This is my, <laughs> to be honest with you, this is wifey material. Wifey material ain't something everybody gonna want. This is something everybody gonna want. The difference is, every time I get in this car, even though it's fun, it's a hassle. I have to carry my gun with me because I don't know if somebody's going to try to rob me from my car. Somebody's going to try to carjack me. Um, this car is a lot more expensive when it comes to gas. It's more of high maintenance. And this one, I get in. I can drive. Even though the other day my tire just freaking popped on me out of nowhere. But, you know, that comes with life. That's part of being in a relationship. Everything is not going to be smooth all the time. Okay? But what I'm saying is the bad bitches that you want is not always good for you. It's fun to have. It's fun to drive. It's fun to ride. You know? Pussy might be good, but that does not mean that she's good for you in the long run. When it comes to dating women, I always compare it to cars. So that's why I showed my cars just now. It comes with a level of maintenance. Every relationship you're in comes with a level of maintenance. It's up to you to choose which maintenance you can afford and which one is beneficial for you. My thing is, she has a point, but at the same time, things depreciate. And a lot of these joints that come out and say, oh, I'm a high maintenance, I need this, I need that, I need that, don't hold their value. Just like those cars just like my challenger my challenger is not gonna hold his value it's something i want and a lot of times the things you want aren't good for you no because you man good for making me pay or for making me work four jobs four jobs while i'm in college in rural tennessee and i can barely pay my own rent and i and i'm taking 19 credit hours on top of those four jobs and i still can't graduate on time and i still can't graduate early even though i'm taking 21 credit hours next semester it's not fair it's not fair anymore it's never been fair not in my lifetime and will it ever be fair no because i'm a woman in america i just want to live in peace america and i will one day probably some I feel your pain, but it's not because you're a woman. I'm going to just keep it 100 with you. We all we all went through it. When I was in college, I was working a job that paid seven twenty five an hour. I barely could afford the rent. Um, I had to do other things to be able to afford the rent. And then I just dropped out of college. I was like, yeah, I can't even do it. To find, only to find out that my school, the Art Institute of Atlanta, was stealing money from me. Right? Only to find out that my school was stealing money from me. School is shut down now. And instead of... I have to go through a whole process to get the government to forgive my loan. Y'all know the school's on some fuck shit, but y'all still I have to prove. I have to prove that they stole money from me. Come on, son. And and thank, here's the crazy part, man. Here's the crazy part. Thank God that I stopped when I stopped. Because my degree wouldn't have mattered. The stuff that I was learning in school, 
I basically learned on YouTube. I got into all these prestigious ass colleges and I decided to chase art. Like an idiot. But young lady, I want to tell you something. It's going to get worse. Because my father retired last year. Gets his, his monthly check. And I found out that he has to pay taxes on these monthly checks. When I say taxes, I mean that this tax season, he just filed his taxes and it ended up, it ended up having to pay, I believe, $10,000 to the government. So imagine working damn near your whole life to get to the point of retirement and you're getting your retirement checks and they still want you to pay taxes at the end of the year. You're still owing the government money at the end. You know what? Let me, let me stop. Let me stop. I'm going down a rabbit hole that I might not be able to climb out of, so let me stop.